looks like you're going to get up on this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I can't play it to save my life, as in, like, I, I just, I, I, I don't know how to play it, I think. Me neither, but <laughs> I just play it. <laughs> no, you do know. Ah, uh, what do I want here? I don't want this. Sorry, you're gonna hear Savise again. Okay. Very soon. Thanks for warning. <laughs> The win rate is like 53% now, I think. Uh, you mean overall? Because I have 63 on my, my personal. And it's including the climb also from Ranked. Can I Nine. stop our stream for a second and then play this one? Because in case he replies something, I would like to know if he did. Okay. I'm just going to do it. Okay, then I guess I should give you the headphones. Yeah, sure. I just want to... <coughs> You're trying to contact Savit with your stream? Nice. That is disgusting. <laughs> Why? Uh, the, probably my win rate is 63%. I want to have weapon and next turn we can play this. <laughs> that legend rank. Okay, uh, let's. You know what? Uh, let's restart my uh, stats and we can check. So it's zero zero now, and let's see how far can we get. All mage. Two damage next turn, and this way it's also two damage. Is he replying something? Uh, I don't think he really. He had a dirty rat turn. Uh, can I see what you read? Sure. Because there are 8,000 people yeah. in chat. <laughs> oh, sorry, chat. Uh, 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 which deck is that? Uh, just discussing 54 up to uh, up from 52 at Legendary. That is the average win rate of Agro Shaman. Uh, is that a specific list? Did you put up the list? Oh, yeah, I did, I guess. Oh, oh okay, okay, you did. Uh, yeah, I want to see the chat. Sorry, I was just looking here. Uh, can I get there are only like two cards different differences between the list. One or two different whether it's I want to have some minutes from the Yeah, I feel like I don't need Daya in this deck. I don't know why, but it's just like that. Uh, can you switch back to our screen? Yeah, sure. What happened with this guy? I don't think he's here. And he's debating because he moves cards. They perform pretty much the same. Yeah, I, I don't think those are the key points, like whether you run Aya or two mills, Trilogy stuff. But I mean, what matters is how you play the deck. It doesn't matter, like, even even Tyler said, uh, I remember him saying on stream, uh, like, he, uh, he was like, okay, guys, take my deck and switch, like, uh, like, two cards from the deck. Like, you can throw in Wisps or whatever, and I'm still gonna get top 100 with the decks. 
So like he was um he said that and I believe that <laughs> and I think that if you know how to play a girl shaman you just know and he's like an aggro shaman god in this meta I think and he plays so well so well and so much yeah this is nothing like I mean sorry twitch made me get out how did that happen <laughs> I like Doppel's Rhetoric because it draws you to ending damage or trying to maintain board. Yeah, yeah it is true. true. Because I is a big body and it, it produces another big body, but there are so many classes that clear efficiently. Like, what are you going to do if they clear your board? Like, you don't have any falling <coughs> effects from Aya apart from that golem. You don't have spell damage or anything. And Priest can kill you. <laughs> Apparently, I need to worry about the Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shaman I think is not not easy class. No, I mean, people say that it's brainless and that it's cancerous, but it's really hard. I admit, I do not know how to play this deck. I I can admit it just straight away. I don't know how to. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult deck to I play. Know, I already missed two mana, so. It's a difficult deck to play, difficult deck to master, so. I run Jade without Aya, still too great. Oh, uh, I run Asa in place. Yeah, he's talking about Rogue. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Aya is good, but I don't know. She's not perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why, why did you laugh? Your position? I don't know. I'm not logged in. Finish it here. Why? I won. What? I want to see. What? If you're better than me? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay, the shaman is all about the mulligan and board placement. Yeah, true. Uh, also, it's really nice when you manage the combo. Patches with flame tongues on them. I'm just reading a uh, free quit, yeah. Uh, uh, do I need Finley in this matchup? I don't know, you might. Are you sure it's all about the mulligan and board placement? One streak made me cry fast. Would you keep the, the Sir Finley chat? Uh, is there a win streak in Legend? Does anyone know? Like, if you're a win streak, does, uh, do you climb faster? I don't know if I would keep Finley. I mean, I probably would because it makes you faster than the other aggro shaman. I don't know. Sarah says no. So yeah, Sarah probably says no, and yeah. I had like less than one second to respond. Yeah. So. <laughs> So let's not keep it. <laughs> yeah, and I was also, I was also really? like, no. Oh, then I have a completely, uh... <laughs> yeah, I also think that hero power is good here. Because it spawns you a lot, uh, bot little bodies, and they can, uh, they can be moved by flame tank totem, and also they provide healing and spell power and stuff. What are you reading? I'm reading about uh, Ben Bro's statement on Hearthstone and maybe I want to comment on something. Mm -hmm. Ben wishes that there was some more variety of cards being played even in the class themselves and I agree with that. It's just an article that sums up uh, their interview like between Ben <coughs> and, uh, and the interviewer. Uh, basically he's talking about gadgets and standard mechanics, pirates and stuff and I do agree about the, the small variety of cards played in, in the class. Only 
mechanics which are the best and fun to see again uh, and again should return. Discover is a good example. Yeah, it is true. Like they uh, they uh they put in some um, they put in some uh, some discover effects uh, in this expansion as well with like the drakenids and stuff. And uh, Eloise is, it was just a good uh, good adventure with like a lot of discovers. Was it also uh, Eloise like uh, League of Explorers? Oh. That was like Eloise. What? No, <laughs> what Eloise. Did she have to do with no. <laughs> uh. Pirates. They are starting to believe they are a problem. I'm gonna play some Maligos uh, to chill today because uh, mm -hmm. they are good. You play cards. That are good. So how does yeah. everyone feel against? Double gangster wall plays. I think mm, if you play pirates, they're broken. It is not our fault. Yeah, it is, it is true. Like people are people are gonna take advantage of a good card. Like if you put it in a good card, it's gonna get played. So yes. I do I do think that that is that is correct. And I agree. How does everyone feel against the Awful Gangster Evolved Place? Hmm. I, I feel that the Awful Gangster is a big um I don't know, I feel like it should cost less mana to be honest, because if it wants to cost less mana, I feel like for four mana uh for five mana you got you get for six mana actually, like if you're playing an evolved deck. Basically, if you play uh, him, and you play one evolve, that is six mana. For six mana, you've got three times five, five, uh, f uh, five cost minion, which means that you, for, for six mana, you effectively get, or, or not, evolves, uh, evolves into something that costs one more. Actually, actually, you get a six mana minion, so you get 18 mana. And you invest six, and that's kind of OP. Uh, it's so broken. At Miracle is using it. Uh. Yeah, I think I just think Doppelganger is just really, really strong. What is it for that spot? What was your cut? Sorry, for it. Uh. That's for that slot. What would you cut for it? Uh, I think I think uh, they're talking about pirates. Mm. Pirates are a huge problem. Yeah, I think I think pirates are a problem as well. Three six cost minions. Yeah, you get you get uh, eighteen mana for six mana, and that is crazy. And sometimes you even get a charge. But you have to combine. Hmm. Uh, Six mana for eight mana is crazy. Makes this so any cost that isn't shaman rogue warrior paladin simply can't play the aggro game. That is true. Because all the aggro decks basically die to uh to to the decks that aren't made to be aggro, but they still are. Like warrior has a lot of control cards, but now you mostly see the pirate warrior. Uh, because you're welcome. Uh, because they have pirates, so basically they killed all the other mechanics regarding all the other classes that do have pirates. Anger isn't the problem as long as decks have resources to deal with them. Yeah, I think so, but not not all the decks have those resources, and sometimes it's not worth playing those de deck resources that you have. For example, Hunter could play like power shot, but is it worth having in in, uh, in a hunter deck? Because you have so many cards that you want to play. You want to be the aggressor and you want to get on the board. Like, is it worth playing power shot in your deck? Control warrior, for example, just crush aggro shaman and pirate warrior. Yeah, but I don't think it's played enough. And control warrior really struggles with with, uh, with, with war Reno, Reno. With, with Reno deck. And yeah. J, J deck especially. Some of Reno decks, not yeah. all, but some can. So it can fight aggro, but it struggles against all the other classes. And also, aggro doesn't have a hundred percent lose against uh, against uh, yeah. control warrior. I win, like, it also wins win sometimes. two in a row uh, when I was like two stars away from 